One of the most important concepts in acid-base chemistry is buffers. Buffers are solutions that resist changes in the pH. When either an acid or a base is added, instead of having large increases or decreases in the pH, a buffer maintains an almost but not exactly constant pH. Buffers are made up of either a weak acid with its conjugate base or a weak base with its conjugate acid. So as an example, one liter of a solution that's made up of ammonia. Ammonia is a weak base. It has a Kb of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And in the same solution we have ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride is a salt and when you dissociate the salt you get the ammonium cation chloride anion. The chloride anion is the conjugate of hydrochloric acid therefore it is not an acid not a base it's neutral the ammonium cation is the conjugate of the weak base ammonia so we have a weak base with its conjugate acid this solution will be a buffer when you recognize a solution as a buffer there's a quick way to calculate the pH which is called the Henderson Hasselbach formula. pH is equal to pKa of the acid plus the log of the concentration of base divided by acid. pKa is for the chemical that has a Ka. NH4 plus is our weak acid so we can calculate Ka because it's not in the table Ka is Kw divided by Kb. So the Ka of the ammonium cation, 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10th, we can use that to calculate the pKa. which gives us a pKa of 9.25. So now in this henderson hasselbach formula, we want to find the pH of the buffer. The pKa is 9.25. And then the important thing in this formula is being able to identify the acid and the base correctly. The acid molarity is 0 0.5, and that goes in the denominator. The base molarity 0 0.4 goes in the numerator. So depending on whether you have more acid or more base in your buffer, the pH will either increase or decrease from the pKa value. In this case, we have more acid and uh, that is going to decrease our pH from our pKa. The pH is 9.15. Notice in this formula, if you made a buffer where the concentration of the base equals the concentration of the acid, then this term would be the log of 1, and the log of 1 is 0. So under those conditions, the pH of your buffer is just equal to the pKa.